So here we have the latest uh, sneaker news. And the first one up is the Puma, the Puma Lamello Ball MB04 uh, La France. And uh, this is a silhouette, it's uh, in the same vein as all the other, I suppose, uh, Lamello Ball silhouettes. And it's uh, it looks uh, pretty cool, more for, I suppose, a younger audience really. But, you know, still cool if you're, you know, looking for something different on the basketball court. And uh, then you got these uh, Packer Shoes Reebok Premier Road Modern. And these shoes, I think, look really nice. I think, uh, from what I heard on Instagram, these have been out for all this, well, this particular silhouette has been out for a few years, but this collab's got a nice sort of colorway. But I do like some of the models that uh, Reebok are doing at the moment, such as the Float Zeke. So, uh, yeah, definitely not mad at these. And then you got the Nego Nike Air Force 3 Low. Multicolor. This is I forgot to mention last week and uh, kind of missed off the um, list really. But it's a cool colorway and um, not something that I'm probably look checking for because I'm not really a fan of uh, patent leather. But uh, I like the I suppose the execution in terms of it being funky colors and I kind of like the Air Force Three though. I think I had a pair of these when I was uh, younger, uh, back in eighty eight, eighty seven. So, you know, definitely looking forward to having, I suppose, a GR version of this if it comes out. And then next up we have the Air Jordan 5. This is the reimagined version in uh, black metallic, which uh, has sort of glow in the dark uh, feel to it. And it's supposed to be swapped out for, I suppose, white or beige laces. So not mad at this. Um, Jordan 5 is not something I'd wear now, apart from, say, the lows. But, uh, you know, if you're after a classic pair of uh, Jordan 5s, then this is uh, one to get. And then you've got the uh, Air Jordan 9 Bugs Bunny. So this was uh, announced by uh, Z Seekerheads and Sneaker Files. And uh, it's coming out in summer 2025. And I actually really like this pair. Uh, last year I was tempted to get the Soulfly uh, colorway. And uh, kind of glad I waited now because I'd rather have a, maybe a pair of these. But I'll look to see. I suppose next year is a bit kind of busy and packed. So it may not be something that I grab. But, you know, at the initial announcement i do obviously like this particular colorway because i'm more into white trainers anyway and then you got the air jordan 4 black cut which is making another return and the black cut is just a simple colorway really uh tell you the truth i think you know you can't go wrong it's a very sort of safe pair of trainers and obviously it's hyped up because of one the resale value and two it just being a simple black trainer and you know, you can't be mad at these. I think for me, I probably personally wouldn't grab them unless they sort of changed it up a bit um, because I'm not a fan of the leather wings. And then you've got the Air Jordan 12 Black Taxi, which is uh, announced for fall 2025 as well. And again, this one I'm not mad at. It looks, uh, you know, very, very nice at the same time. Um, people obviously hype for black taxis anyway, uh, but it's not something that I'd be looking to grab personally because I don't really wear 12s. And then you've got the Air Jordan 4 Tex, which is the worn blue. And this one is a, I suppose, a similar take to the blank canvas, which came out a few years back. I sold my pair because I just felt like it wasn't something that I'd wear. And also it's probably a little bit size too small. And also I think this particular material, being the canvas material, does get very dirty quickly and uh, difficult to clean as well. So that's the reason why I've given it a three. And the colorway is a bit out there. It's kind of that camo color but you know it's on the light blue side and then you've got the uh, air drawn three dusted clay which is another sort of average pair again it looks like maybe it'll be a women's pair to me and uh, this is a mock-up and also the air drawn one high og light matter root this seems similar to the dusted clay version that came out this year which had sort of nice premium suede on it and i think maybe this will be a similar type of thing and then you've got the uh, Air Jordan 11 in uh, black, red and grey. And this one is obviously similar to the Gammas. But again, Jordan 11s aren't my thing. But if I would ever to buy a Jordan 11, it would either be the bread or one of the black colorways. So this could be, you know, potential. But just not really a, you know, Jordan 11 fan to tell you the truth. And also this uh, Air Foam Posit 1 cough drop, which is another, another re return uh, sneaker. And uh, I'm not mad at it, but also it's one of those ones where it just looks, you know, very much like any other foam posit that released, so such as the All Black Bear. And then also we've got the uh, Nike SB and Nike Air Max 95. So this is just a, a, a more of an announcement, really. This isn't what the mock-up's going to look like. 
and uh, I, I expect you know if it's a Nike SB collab I think it would be done very well in my opinion and uh, hopefully it should be something that you know would be of interest especially for me and then also we've got this uh, Air Jordan All Court and I've not seen this one uh, before and it, it looks similar to a Jordan 5 Low uh, but with skateboarding tweaks done to it and because it has like a thicker ankle liner and also the outsole combination looks to be different and maybe slightly new uh, maybe yeah like I said similar to Jordan 5 to, to me that's what it looks like and then you got the flight on the side as well which is a cool touch uh, I'm not mad at them but also it's not really that inspiring at the same time and something which is uh, controversial online which was just announced I think yesterday or the day before uh, and again it's just a placeholder really but this is maybe a first look at an Adidas AE2 and what I will say is at the moment it does look very average and the thing is I think with these particular silhouettes it all depends on the colorway as well I think if they get a nice colorway on this it might look really nice and it does look similar to the AE1 at the same time but uh, I think they probably need to work, work a bit harder at the moment it, but again this might just be like a sample testing pair and then the Puma slip-on. So this is one worth mentioning because it just looks weird and totally out there, really. You know, it's almost like uh, if you used to take a, a lizard or something and just put them, or, or a snake, and just put the, <laughs> make a, a slip-on out of it. And, uh, you know, it's just worth mentioning. It's just interesting to me more than anything. And, you know, obviously it's got a, some, a really sort of curvature shape to it to almost, you know, mimic your foot. So it might be something that might be comfortable, I guess. <laughs> 